All right. No, I don't want a ticket. Just an answer, the right one. What is this, mister? Who are you? Same question. Always they ask the same question, and always you have to show them this. I don't understand. Nobody here sent for the police. That's always there, too, the fear. They look at the badge, and you're not a human being anymore. Just the law. It's discouraging. Now, look, Sergeant. The lieutenant. Lieutenant Kovacs, I worked hard. What is it you want? I told you, information. About what? A pudgy little man I was tailing. He shook me. The boys at the precinct had kidded me about it. Why ask me? I didn't see him. You didn't even ask for a description. You said he was pudgy. And that's all you'd need to decide you haven't seen him. Well, you don't really look at people up here. They're just faces. How many people went into your place in the last five minutes? None. None. When your memory improved, let me hear from you. Easy name to remember. Lieutenant Kovacs, homicide. Well, I seem to be an occupational hazard for you people. It's all right. What now? My pudgy little man got off the pier somehow. You mind if I look through your place? No, not if it'll make you feel better. It's an imposition, I know. But just so I don't get lost, suppose you show me through it. All right. Come on. Wonderful how they make them look so natural. Wouldn't you expect them to come to life any minute, Harry? I don't think we ought to stay here that long. <laughs> come on, honey. What is it? Funny. I hope you don't mind my waiting, Mrs. Martin. I know it's late. How did you get in here? A very nice man, your landlord. Very obliging. Kovacs, remember? Homicide. That reaction. It's universal. You know, every year it's getting harder to tell who's innocent and who's guilty. However, Mrs. Martin, I do wish you had asked to see this search warrant. People who have nothing to worry about usually do. Lieutenant, I... Where's Joe, Mrs. Martin? I don't know. I don't check on every movie makes. Well, that's nice, because checking, that's police business. Helpful, but tedious. For instance, I know quite a lot about Joe, but almost nothing about you. <laughs> but a nice, pleasant conversation could fix that, though, couldn't it? Would you sit down, Mrs. Martin? Please. Man of extreme, Mr. Martin. If you're not dreaming, you're rushing. I enjoyed our little chat last night, Mrs. Martin. Sorry you couldn't be there, Joe. No visitors last night, huh, Peg? Could only worry you, Joe. What was the point in telling you? Terrible thing not being tactful. My apologies. Come along, Joe. Suppose you and I have a little chat. We'll just be honest with one another and we won't even try for tact, all right? Is this an arrest? Semantics to you, it's an arrest to me. Just a chat. Where? You know where, Joe, in my office. That's what the taxpayers built it for. It's a nice office, Mr. Martin. Quiet, restful, made for conversation. I don't hear anything, Mr. Martin. What is it you want me to tell you? Why, you lied to me the other day when I asked if you'd seen a little pudgy man, Mr. Barrett. Look, I don't know what you're getting at. You went all through my place, made me come with you. Do you think everybody in the world is stupid, Mr. Martin? I'm just trying to tell you that if... What? What are you trying to tell me? That you're a nice guy caught in a trap? Next you'll want to tell me you've never been in Detroit. That you didn't do three years for driving a cab at a payroll job. You want to tell me that? I guess it wouldn't do any good to tell you that I was innocent. That I was driving that cab because a hood had a gun in the back of my head. Jury didn't believe it. You did three years. But they never end, do they? Man is found in an alley, a pocket is picked, and those three years give you the right to climb on my back, don't they? Martin. Well, I've had it, Kovacs, right up to here. You understand that? I've got nothing to tell you. Then we'll wait until you do. Just as long as we have to. Right here. Six 
hours, Mr. Martin. You're a stubborn man. What time is it? Look, Kovacs, I've got to get out of here. Let me hear the words. Talk to me, Joe. I don't know what else I can tell you. Joe, Joe, don't let three years in a cell ruin the rest of your life. A man in a trap needs help. I want to give it, but I can only do it if you talk. Understand? That's all of it, Lieutenant. Just the way it happened from the minute I took that 50. You see, Joe? It's a mistake holding out on a cop, because you never know how much he knows. Take Charlie. Charlie? To you, he was a two-dollar better. But actually, he was on the hook to Barrett for over 400. A kid like that? Follow me. That night on the pier, Barrett saw me. He ducked into the hamburger stand and asked Charlie how to get off the pier. Charlie saw the little black bag he was carrying and knew what had to be in it. Layoff money, a lot of it. Suddenly, Charlie saw a way to get off that hook. So he sent Barrett over to the funhouse and followed him over. Only Charlie went in the back door. Yeah, he was late that night. No, not late. Just inside, erasing a debt. What is it, Joe? There was no black bag when I found Barrett. Somebody had it by then. It wound up in a dime locker on the pier, Joe. Here's the key. You're holding back. Why haven't you picked up Charlie? Because I searched your apartment the other night before your wife got there, and I found this. In her closet, wrapped in a stocking and stashed away in the toe of a shoe. No, no, you're wrong, so wrong. He's always at our place, he must have hit it. Kovacs, that kid's a killer. If he finds the key gone and thinks she's got it, we gotta get to the pier. Let's go. Charlie? He was a fool, Joe, but he didn't know that that payroll money was recovered almost a year after the holdup. People make mistakes. Twelve of them did about me three years ago. I made one about your wife, but I had to be sure. It's all over now, Joe. Go on out to her. No more trap. But do me a favor, will you? Stop running away from yourself. You know what I mean. Lieutenant, three years ago I was innocent. Do you believe me? <laughs> Always have. Why do you think I gave him so much rope? Huh? 